Hi, my name's Adam and welcome to Cairns in sunny Queensland. In today's video, we're flying to my hometown, Adelaide. We're flying business class with Virgin Australia and I'll show you all that that entails. If you're ever in Cairns, I highly recommend a trip to the Daintree Rainforest. Cairns Airport is located about 4 kilometres north of Cairns. Business class passengers can use the priority check-in lane, although I'm very early, so there's no queues anyway. A $55 million upgrade of the domestic terminal was completed in 2020. The upgrade included additional retail and dining areas and more seating. There's plenty of places to eat, although no views of the tarmac. My flight is the last departure today and I have plenty of time. Unfortunately, Virgin Australia doesn't have a lounge here. The flight time to Adelaide is about three hours. There's plenty of charging points. There's also free Wi-Fi. Premium boarding begins first. Unfortunately, I can't get an external view of our aircraft, but it's four years old at the time of this flight. Here's my seat. Seating in business class is in a 2x2 two two arrangement. All eight seats in the business class cabin are occupied, including a baby, so technically there's nine guests today. Economy meanwhile is very lightly loaded, maybe one third full. There's adjustable air nozzles and individual reading lamps. We're offered pre-departure drinks. There's at-seat power, but no USB ports. Flight time down to Adelaide today is three hours and five minutes. Once again on behalf of your crew, it's great to have you on board. That's a Qantas Link Alliance E190, also heading to Adelaide, but running more than two hours late. As I said before, we now have Orcus on board and very shortly we'll be uh, pushing back and on our way to Adelaide. Thank you. Cairns is Australia's sixth busiest airport based on the latest monthly data. It used to be a busy international destination too, but those flights were suspended during the pandemic. Flights have now resumed to Singapore and Hong Kong. Welcome aboard. It's great to have you with us. At Virgin Australia, your health and safety come first. So we appreciate you giving us your attention as we take you through the important information that'll help keep you safe and comfortable on this flight. Flight mode. You can hold onto them or put them in your seat pocket. Anything larger than handheld will now need to be put away. From everyone here at Virgin Australia, thanks for flying with us. Okay.
we do a sharp left turn to avoid the high terrain as well as to avoid flying over cans. This is a noise abatement procedure. We get a good view of the airport. We're now climbing over the Atherton Tablelands. Let's take a look at our route. We'll be largely flying over the outback with no major towns en route until we reach Adelaide. There's some light turbulence as we climb through the cloud layers. Loving these cloud formations. Unfortunately, there's no seat back holder if you've brought your own device. We're offered pre-dinner drinks, which can go on this little pull-out shelf. I choose sparkling wine, which is served with rosemary and rock salt crackers. This is a nice touch. I don't think I've had pre-meal drinks on a Qantas domestic flight. Let's check out the front lavatory before dinner. It's small, but clean and modern. There's no Wi-Fi, but you can stream movies and TV shows on your own device via the Virgin Entertainment app, which you need to download before pushback. The app includes a flight map. I love looking at these landscapes from the sky. The tray table is in the armrest. There are two dinner options, Spanish chicken breast with mashed potato and broccolini in apricot and caper sauce, or fried rice with vegetarian shiitake mushrooms and rice. I choose the chicken. There's also cheese and crackers on the side and apple and sultana slice for dessert. The meal is very tasty. The white wine is a Tatachilla Pinot Grigio. I always bring my own entertainment, although the view out the window is hard to beat. The headrest is adjustable. The crew top up my wine throughout today's flight. Later, they offer us Kit Kats and Tim Tams. The service is very good and attentive without being overbearing. We're cruising at 40,000 feet. There's a cold front in South Australia, which means the cloud cover will increase as we get closer to Adelaide. Virgin Australia's business class is competitively priced. On this route, you can travel in business class for $359. When I booked, it was $350. Incredible value for a three hour flight in business class, particularly compared to Qantas. A 
business class fare on this route with Qantas is almost double the price. The pilot says we should arrive 10 minutes ahead of schedule. This aircraft features the Boeing Sky interior, and I really like the colour. We now over the Adelaide foothills. If you look closely at Adelaide Oval, you might be able to see the bright colours, which are part of the Christmas pageant. Overall, this was an excellent flight with impeccable service and was good value for money.
it's not every day you see an engineer inside one of the engines. My luggage comes out first, but they stop the conveyor belt anyway because there's not many bags. Coming up on my channel, travel by train to the city of Warrnambool, near the western end of the Great Ocean Road. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Hope to see you soon.